Hey guys, Zombie Brian here, and uh, today I will be recording what will be the final Piston Monorail video. Um, it will demo how this thing works with, and how to repeat it, and I will go make one over there for you guys, so if you guys want to, you can. Um, a lot of you guys asked me how much this thing can push, and it can push quite a lot. Um, you can, well, obviously 12 blocks worth, but, um, this is about the, er, this is a pretty decent amount, I would like to think. Um, a lot of people were saying, um, that this is slightly so slower than walking, so why use it? Well, can you, uh, store your crap while you're walking, or, um, have your friends ride along with you? Um, personally, I think that's one of the upsides to it, but, um, yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna tell how fast this is going. Um, it is about one or two ticks slower than walking. So, really, there's no point in not using this. Um, and if you want to use a minecart rail, go ahead. This is just an alternative. Um, and it works pretty well anyway so and if you want to you can also make multiple tracks and um, all that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make this tutorial video as well so um, what this redstone system to repeat it is first off though is um, wire gets strung out of ways um, banks left has to go into a repeater and then uh, goes around and then goes back and keeps going um, it has there has to be this space here so that this doesn't carry over and just power itself on infinitely and they have to be offset by at least one otherwise it won't go past um, I figured out what was wrong with it these um, redstone wires are treated as blocks that are in the shape of a plus standing alone that is why they power these so if you like put a repeater there it takes up the one going into the repeater and the repeater itself so you're missing two spaces and that just wouldn't it can't go past that so um if you do it this way um this works pretty well it doesn't slow it down at all and it uh is pretty compact too so uh, now we'll get on to the tutorial. Um, I will be building it with the contents of this chest. Um, not much stuff. I'm not obviously not going to use all of it, but uh, yeah. Um, and this is all I have to start with: a brown piece of wool and a green piece of wool for the to uh, say where the sticky and the or the sticky and the normal piston go. So um, I'll be right back and start on this. Alright, so now we're back. Um, first off, we're going to start by making the clock, which can be made uh, in this way. It's actually a two clock um, from looking at it, and how it works is um, the redstone goes, well, the clock is a redstone signal going in a loop extremely fast, so if I were to light this up and pull that away it would go in a loop very fast but we want to make it controllable so we do this and you want to make sure this is off um, because this isn't going straight into it so what we do from here is we put a block here slap a sticky piston on top and put this here so that when this extends it cuts this off making it so that it can go in the loop that we need it to here. like that so that's the controllable clock. So now that you've got that down, um, feel free to copy it. You can um, work on lining or er, laying the rails. Um, I'm gonna make this fairly short for the sake of the video, but short and sweet, I like to say. Um, string this out a few, and then line redstone on it on both the rails and I'll toss in one of the repeaters just to make it easier for you guys to do 
uh, take some repeaters, put them going into the base of this, and then string those directly into the clock, like that. So that uh, when this is on, these will all be flashing. Um, and I think we should make our clocks, uh, or our repeaters here, because the signal gets stopped just a bit short, so. Um, to do that, you do this, add one of these, and punch that out first, and then you can extend it. Um, and this won't slow it down, um, and it works pretty well in my opinion, so. Make sure they aren't lined up, otherwise you'll have a problem on your hands. And then you're good. Um, and that's how you repeat the signal. Um, to turn it off, you just hit the lever. All right, now that we've got our basic rail done, you can stop at this point if you want, but if you want to make an off switch, which you have to do, or a power switch, what you would have to do is string this to what's called an AND gate. Um, you need both outputs on for this to be on. Um, put that there to turn this off, and both of these have to be off to turn this one on because it's being powered off by both of them. Um, I like to do a power switch. Um, it's a lot easier than hooking up memory. And you want to make this three high so it doesn't interfere with the track. And since I don't have any room behind it, I'll just do it right here to make it easier for you guys to see. <sighs> Alright, and you're going to take this out two directions. Um, this way, and I'll string the repeaters later. Might not even need them. Um, this way, and to that an one input of the AND gate, and you're also going to want to string this out this way too. Okay. Um, from here, you're going to want to place the block of dirt and make an RS nor latch. This can be made by. Uh, this will be the reset button first off. This can be made by putting a torch here, and and then on a block, and then putting a torch here on a block. Um, this isn't hooked into anything, but if you press the button, it'll flip around. Um, then cause the memory to hold its value. Um, this is the output of the RS NOR, so I'm just going to make this easier by extending it. Um, like so... That's the output, or no, that should be the reset of the RS NOR. So that should be going into this block. Um, but here's the tricky part um, you have to wire this over to uh, this torch. So that's going to be the hard part. I will probably. Here, you know what? I will do this. Um, make a bridge over it like so and I'm gonna steal this torch just to brighten it up for you guys yeah not there alright um crap. you don't want these wires crossing either and you don't want uh, them coming in contact so what I like to do, and this needs to be on delay anyway, is just put two repeaters here so they don't come in contact and it just gets power from the torch. Um, and goes to this hand gate. And I am going to um, sleep to make it daytime, so I'll be right back. Alright, um, to continue this, what you need to do is uh, obviously test it. Um, if I were to turn this on, um, it would not power off this AND gate right now. So what we have to do is invert this. And that won't matter because uh, 
and you need a torch and then the wire and inverting this won't matter because um this is already powering this off so um we don't want any signal crossing or anything um so if i were to hit this um it should reset the rsnr but it's not oh you have to invert your rsnr latch by doing uh this and you need this on for the moment or for the time being um, and I don't see where this is getting power from um, oh it's looping All right, this is picking up power from here um, so to prevent that all you gotta do is this and redirect the current to up top here without screwing with any of this so I gotta get this from over here to over here. I'm just gonna dig down. Make it easier to do it over here, I think. Yeah, this should work. Alright, so, um... Now that you've dug down, you can run that to there. Um, I'm not the best with redstone, as you can probably tell. So, um, now oh, I forgot to hook a torch up. Darn it. Um, mainly because I'm not. I don't really do this often. So, um, we need this to be inverted because we want this torch to be off so what we do is power this and when we flip this switch this will uh, this should go on but I overdrove the clocks so I'll just fix that alright so when we hit that it'll go on if we hit it it'll go off too but what we want is the reset button to work and this is just a glitch um, with redstone right now I don't know why it does this but um, it does so um so we do that and if we were to invert this and then hit the button it would turn off um you do have to do this in a specific order because this is memory and if you mess it up it's not going to work right so what it is is a power switch going out in two directions one to the one torch of the and gate the other inverted to reset the rs nor latch and then the RSNR goes around, obviously. Um, but right now, since it's on, it goes down over here, across, invert again, and to this torch. So if we were to flip this lever um, up, it would reset the system. And then if we were to flip it down again, this would all turn on. So I seem to be having the stupid glitch with the clock so all you gotta do to fix it is that. Um, I don't know why that happens though. So I think it's a north-south glitch thing. Um, we're gonna turn this off real quick. Put this one here and put this one here and then just for the sake of putting rails down we'll do this you do need two rails here though, otherwise you will get pushed through into the piston because uh, the minecart doesn't know where it's supposed to be going. So We'll do one of these. Hop in. Hope the clock isn't broken. What? Um, yeah, this is a north-south glitch thing though. All you gotta do is that. Hop in your minecart. Um, compared to walking speed, um, depends on how well the clock is working really like right now mine's pretty bugged and it's not working to the best but um, this is probably the or this is the finalized design of this um, I will be putting this to rest as soon as this video gets up so I am done with these uh, piston monorail videos. Um, a lot of people were also complaining that the older designs are way too slow and I compensated with this. So this is the finalized design and 
I quite enjoy it. So, um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, feel free to make these on your single player, on your server, whatever. Uh, my name is Zombie Ryan, and I will see you later.